Good morning, everybody. Just going to put some breakfast together. So if you saw my meal prep, you already know. I did some mashed potatoes. And I'm going to put them in my waffle iron that I have here. We're just warming it up. And I made some um, tofu scramble. I'm going to have that on top of the waffle. I think that's going to be great. So come along. We'll make some waffles and tofu scramble this morning. So you want to make sure that your waffle iron is nice and hot, which mine is. It's already preheated. Ooh, you can see the steam coming off. And you're going to take your potatoes. Mine are still cold from the fridge. You can hear the sizzle. You're just going to want to fill it up. Don't you worry. They're all going to cook while it Kind of fill it up the way you like it. Just kind of smush it in there a little bit. Then just close your lid. Give it a good press. And we're going to let that go. And it'll tell you when it's ready. In the meantime, I'm just going to take out some of my tofu scramble. And I'm just going to microwave it this morning. It's a work morning. And I'm in a hurry. And that's it. That's a simple breakfast. Okay, so our waffle is ready. I'm going to try to get it out without burning myself too much. You just have to work it around the sides a little bit. Look how gorgeous that is, guys. You see that? I had my waffle iron really hot because I like mine brown and crispy on the outside, but nice and tender on the inside. And I have my tofu scramble that I'm going to add on top. If you like salsa or any of the other stuff, some salsa verde, my tofu scramble with soy chorizo is hot enough for me, so I don't need any of that extra stuff on it. But if you do, you do you. There we go. There's my breakfast. I hope you guys give this one a try. That's all from my meal prep this week. Breakfast is easy peasy. So for breakfast, I'm just going to have some sourdough toast. Yes, it doesn't fit. I have to flip it over halfway because my sourdough toast is way too big. But that's okay. We love it anyway. Now we're going to flip. Toast the other side a little bit. So I'm just keeping breakfast super simple this morning. I'm going to put some natural peanut butter on it. I got this one at Costco. Nice and runny. That's the way I like it. I'm going to add some hemp seeds for that nuttiness. Got a little sliced banana here. Got that peanut butter and banana. on top for a little bit of crunch. Okay. And that's my breakfast. Hey, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Welcome. 
the sun is shining. It's going to be hot and beautiful today. Just going to take you along while I make breakfast. I'm making some oatmeal. Big surprise, but we're going to make a special today. We're actually going to toast our oatmeal. And I really like it when you toast it. It gives it that nutty flavor. And we're going to make chocolate this morning. Because who doesn't like chocolate oatmeal? So I hope you enjoy this. So we just have our pan heating. Just going to put in a little bit of our oatmeal. And I'm using rolled oats. Um, that's best for this one because we're going to cook it. And we're going to toast it. So instant oats don't really work super well for this recipe. And you're just going to let them kind of toast in the pan. Some people use oil. I don't use oil. I guess oil would toast them a little browner or whatever, but just keep an eye on them. I'm going to bump up the protein in this by using some soy milk today and some cocoa powder. And I like mine with a little bit of cinnamon. And this takes a few minutes. I don't know if you can see now. You can you could smell our oats are toasting. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Add in our soy milk. Get some just an extra little, I'm going to add just a little pinch of salt. And I'm going to add in just a couple of, about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of co cocoa powder. Get that all mixed in. So I'm using the raw, the cacao powder. It has a little bit more antioxidants in it. But you use what you have. I think the best part of oatmeal is the topping. I am going to add a little bit of my cinnamon. Great for regulating your blood sugar. And maybe just a little bit more cocoa powder. There we go. And you're going to want to bring this back up to a gentle boil. We're just going to cook our oatmeal until it's ready. I also forgot I was going to add a little bit of flax flour. I always like to bulk it up, and this is ground flax flour, so I grind it myself to make sure it's nice and fine. And that just bulks it up, adds a good omega-3 to it. There we go. Okay, so let's put our bowl together. Our oatmeal is cooked. It's delicious. So in our bowl it goes. I'm going to top mine with some banana, because chocolate and banana go so well together. Okay. Some nice peanut butter. Do a little bit of pumpkin seeds. Tiny bit of hemp seed. Just like a teaspoon, not much. My new obsession, a couple of goji berries. There you have it. That's what's for breakfast this morning, guys. Doesn't that look good? Can't wait to dig into that. Just having breakfast. 
at my desk, eating away and working as always. For breakfast, I'm having a bagel today. This is an everything bagel. I get these ones at our farmer's market. They're great. I'm going to toast it. Now, I kind of like my stuff most of the time savory. And I do like it well toasted. So we're going to toast that nice and dark. Get rid of all that. And I'm actually going to have mine with some hummus on it. And I have these great cherry tomatoes that I'm going to slice up in half while I'm waiting. Put on top. And I have these great hemp hearts. They're actually spicy ones. So you can find them. They're great. I can't remember where I got these from. But they're delicious and they have a great little spice to them so if you can find them they only are like two two little spices but they add like such a great flavor they're vegan of course of course they're adding omega-3s and some protein they're gluten-free they're great and then i'm just using the hummus that i have open this is actually hum um sabra so I think there's a little bit of oil in the Sabra, but I'm going with it. It's fine. I'll live. And I'm going to add some strawberries to the side of my plate because I'm in the mood for that. So leave me a comment down below. I want to know, are you a sweet or are you a savory kind of breakfast person? I go half and half at all. Obviously, it kind of depends on mood. But I'm more of a savory person, unless it comes to like pancakes or something. But if I'm just trying to do something simple, it's usually going to be savory. I prefer kind of like quiches and my potatoes. over the sweeter stuff. But don't get me wrong, I like my chocolate oatmeal, as you know. So, just going to put a little bit of our hummus on here. More just so that I'm just going to add a little bit. I know I probably already have enough of that everything bagel seasoning, but I'm just going to top it off with just a little bit more. And there's breakfast, guys. Super simple, super easy. We're not keeping it. We're not making it hard this week. But these are just typically kind of what I eat at my desk while I'm working. Good morning, guys. Just going to show you a quick breakfast. So we... You know, I have my tofu scramble, and here is just going to make a quick burrito with it. 
Just take your tortilla shell. I have a pan on the stove going, getting it nice and hot because I like to grill mine. Just going to add in my tofu scramble into the middle. Sometimes I warm up my tofu scramble first. I like to fill that in. I'm going to put a little bit of salsa inside because I kind of like to make it that way, kind of with it inside as opposed to the outside. I'm going to add a little nutritional yeast just to make it cheesy. Now, if you could add shredded cheese if that's what you like. I'm just going to keep this plant-based. So you're going to tuck everything in, fold, and fold. Perfecto. I'm going to grill it seam side down first. So our pan's hot, seam side down first. I'm actually going to put a lid on top just because the filling and everything is cold. I want to kind of warm it all the way through. And I just find that's the easiest way. Nice and brown. Oops, a little extra brown. Let that toast be nice and crispy. Put the lid back on. Let it brown on that side. And you want it to warm all the way through. So there you go. Nice and easy. Handheld for breakfast. Look how delicious that is. Give that one a try, guys. Another breakfast. Easy, delicious, and vegan.